Wayne, uh, appreciate you joining us. Uh, first and foremost, just like the England summers, right? Nice and cool and uh, <laughs> not really hot. Yeah, very similar. <laughs> no, are, it's, are you used to it yet, the heat, humidity? I'm getting used to it, yeah. It's obviously a change. It's different. It's, it's hot. It's, it's not as humid as I actually thought it would be. But yeah. So I'm adapting to it. I um, feel like I'm getting fitter every day in, in training. So now it's been good and it's um, something which I'm sure I'll get used to a lot more. But it's, it's not as bad as I thought. So SPF... 120, 140, what do you use it? Because I know you no, use that um, loads, don't you? 70. <laughs> so, I actually didn't know they, they went up to 70 until the summer. Um, I found some when I was on holiday, so um, I've stuck with that. <laughs> so you've been here how long? A little more than two weeks? Yeah, two weeks today, actually. So it, um, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Um, settling in well. Good, good group of lads. And the staff have been really good, so... Um, Enjoyed the training, just looking forward to the game. What, what about the life here in America so far? What has stood out to you here in DC in two weeks? I've enjoyed just going out and um, walking around the city. Um, I've been to do a few different things. Um, you know, I've been to a few couple of restaurants, a um, bit of bowling, and it's been really relaxed. Not Are people many. recognizing you or no? A few, yeah, but they seem to. You know, respect your privacy a yeah. lot more over here, and and but obviously nowhere near as much. Many people recognise you as, as they do in England, and um, so I've been wanting to just go out, go on walks, yeah. and um, now now I haven't really been able to do that back home. So now I can do it. I'm doing as much as I can. Is, it, is that a a good surprise for you? Are you surprised a little bit about it? Are you enjoying that part of it? Yeah, of course. I think it's. It's obviously nice and, um, you know, when people come up and ask for your autograph or picture yeah. or whatever, but sometimes you want that time to, yeah. to relax and, and get away from it, and um, I feel like I've been able to do that. So are you, many of my English colleagues claim that you guys invented baseball because of the game Rounders. I saw you at the Nationals game. Are you going to tell me you understand baseball better than <laughs> me as the American or no? Um, no, it, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. I've never been. It was my first game. Yeah. Um, so um, I had a couple of the guys there explain the rules, because I didn't know the rules, to be honest. And they explained the rules to me. And once I knew um, how it worked, um, I enjoyed it. Um, so it was a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. Wayne, so here we are at RFK Stadium. Um, why Major League Soccer? I just think it was the, I've said it in previous interviews since I've been here, I think for me, for my family, um, and I think for my football career, I think it was the right time. I think 32 is still, obviously it's getting on a bit, but it's, it's not 35, 36. Thank so. you, because I'm 38. <laughs> yeah. well no, but I think I it's the right time for me to to come here and, and have an impact on this league, I believe, and um, and to, you know to show the league the respect it deserves, and, and not I didn't want to come over at 35, 36, and um, not be able to do it, or you know physically or whatever. So I think it was the right time um, and a good change for me and my family. When you talk about that change, you look at your last 18 months. I know that didn't go the way you wanted it, but you seem like a guy that always wants that chip on the shoulder. What is that chip on your shoulder right now? No, I don't think it's a chip on my shoulder. I think it's a determination to win and okay. um, and to play. And um, obviously at Manchester United, that weren't happening as much as I would have liked. And, I quite easily could have stayed there two years left in my contract and, and picked up the, the wages and I'm being happy with that and, and that's it. Um, but I wanted to play, went back to Everton, um, had a year there and um, I, I've said before, to be honest, um, Everton made it clear towards the end of the season that they, they would be happy for me to leave um, for whatever reason, I still don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Me neither. I felt I'd done okay. I was top goal scorer playing most of the season from midfield. So, but that's football. Um, that gave me a decision to make. Um, 
and I made this decision. So, um, as I said, I believe. Does that still motivate you, though? Because I can see it in your eyes that them telling you you can move on, that to me seems like that still motivates you, doesn't it? No, I think what I said to, to Everton, um, I said, Listen, I'm not a kid. Um, if this is what you want, tell me. If, it's, if you want me to stay, tell me. And um, we talk about it, but um, as a 18, 20, 21 year old, so obviously, you w I wouldn't have been able to handle it as the way I can now. And um, they let me know, and I said, fair enough, I'm not going to disrespect the, the football club. Um, so um, this option became available, along with a few different ones, and I just felt this was the right one. So what stood out about DC? I spoke to the owners, spoke to the manager, um, and obviously the, the new stadium, the new training facilities. Um, I watched a, a few of the games um, on TV, on, on um, mm -hmm. e from God sent off onto email, and um, I was excited by the team. I think quite a few young players I, I, I thought were very talented, maybe could do with a bit of guidance on the pitch, and I feel I could help them with that. Um, so putting all that together, obviously I still think we need a few players and I'm sure... Have you know, the owners given you insurances that <laughs> new players Not are Not insurances, but, but obviously a, we've a spoken. Wink, wink or whatever, saying yeah. no. You've no, got of course, along the way. yeah, and I know it's not going to be just me, and, and there, there will be players coming in, and hopefully, um, them other players who do come in can help with the team also. When you look at yourself and the way this team is set up, you're 32, soon to be 33. What do you expect from yourself here in Major League Soccer? Um, I expect to score goals, um, create goals, and and. Um, be a help in the way the team plays and, um, you know, I think, first of all, if I didn't think I could come to this league and and be successful or, or play or do it physically, I wouldn't be a So, I'm a realistic person um, I still feel I could come here and be a success and it's time for me to go and, and show that. The manager, Ben Olsen, you, obviously you guys have had conversations about what your role is going to be. What is that role? Depends on um, the opposition. Depends on the state of the game. Um, so it could be striker. It could be yep. um, behind the striker. Um, what so do you want to play? I want to play. I want to score goals. So um, obviously, the further up the pitch, the better to do that. But again, um, that's down to the coach. I'm not putting any pressure at all on the on the coach, um, saying oh, I need to play. Yep. I need to play. Here. Wherever he sees fit for me to play, then I'll play. Many of your former English teammates played in Major League Soccer, and I know as an ex-player, you guys all talk. What did they tell you about Major League Soccer, both on and off the field? To be honest, I haven't okay. sp spoke to them, I think. I spoke to Stephen while he was out here. Um, and um, both in terms of Frank or, or Bex, um, I haven't really spoke to them about it. Um, and I think... To actually get the feel of the league, yep. you could speak to them and get their experiences, but everyone's different. Um, everyone's at different stages of the career, the, while they were here, um, different positions. Um, yep. So you have to experience it. To, to truly understand that you have to experience it. So I weren't really too concerned about speaking to them and, and finding out what, how their experiences was. Do you, what, what are your expectations then? Because I find that very interesting and actually smart because like you said, Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, they were much further along in their careers and at the end of it, you're not. So then what are your expectations about this life here in Major League Soccer? It's to win, I think. Okay. Um, obviously, we're in a, not in a great position at the moment. Um, but over time, I believe we can climb up the table and as I said before bring some new players in um, new stadium new facilities next year the club's moving forward in the right direction I believe and um, I want to win I think um, I wouldn't come here to, to play and then go and enjoy my time away from 
from football. Football is my priority here. Soccer, yeah. as, as you, you guys, okay. as you you guys call it. it. <laughs> um, by the way, soccer is the English word yeah. that you guys started, by the but, way. Um, <laughs> that's my priority, and yeah. um, that's what I've come here to do. I haven't come here to have an easy life or have a, a nice life with my wife and children. This isn't your retirement. It's my priority is my football. Wayne, i got to bring it up. We're less than 24 hours since England lost to Croatia. Where did you watch the game? I watched it in a restaurant um, next to the hotel I'm staying in. And, um, By yourself or with, no, with, with other friend, English fans? Uh, friends, yeah. Uh, my two brother-in-laws. Um, I was devastated. Hey, describe your emotions because you were such a huge part of that England national team for the longest time. And that team goes to the 2018 World Cup semifinals. Is that surreal or odd to hear that? Or did you, from your perspective, say, you know what, this team has a shot? Well, I think if you rewind and go back two years, yeah. um, as I remember as captain, yeah. I come out to the media and I said, um, be patient with these players. These players are a very talented group of players um, who will be successful for England if we allow them to be and give them time. It may be a little bit sooner than I thought. I, I, I thought maybe 2020, but I think the players since then, in the, that, the two years, have progressed along a club level. Raheem Sterling, um, Harry Kane continuing, Deli Alli. Yeah. Um, they've all progressed um, um, a lot in them two years. And brought a lot to the national team and um, Jesse Lingard as well, Rashford coming in. So I, I wasn't surprised, no. Um, devastated we went out. I felt we could have definitely won the game yesterday. And I think just a little bit of tiredness creeped in yep. um, into a few players, which maybe cost us. Why do you think the England national team progressed a little faster, a little quicker, like you said, than you initially thought? What, what do you think is the biggest reason behind that? I think the players playing and excelling at club level. Yeah. I think the last couple of years, Raheem has, has been one of the best players in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. In Delhi Alley also. Um, Harry Kane, maybe a bit longer than them um, for the last three, four years. Um, but then. Other players like Jesse Lingard come in, he's been fantastic, I think he thought he was one of the best players. Mm -hmm. England. Jordan Anderson has excelled as Liverpool captain and went to the final, Champions League final, and I thought, actually thought he was England's best player at the World Cup. Yep. Um, John Stones, so Harry Maguire, who we didn't even think no he was there as a fan in 2006. Exactly. So I think the players have, have all got better, and of course, with Gareth Southgate coming in, fresh ideas. Yep. For the for the players, along with Steve Holland, who work work with briefly, so I think overall they've they've done it right, and um, the players have probably exceeded expectations before the tournament. But I always knew that was there, and um, now I just hope everyone stays with them for the next two years and, and supports them in this next tournament. Wayne, here in, in the United States in Major League Soccer, we have this discussion about player development and the development of the American player. When I look at England over the last 18 to 24 months, the under 17s, the under 20s, and now this England national team run, what are the obstacles for the England player at the present moment? Um, playing, just to continue playing in the clubs, I think. Why do they not play in England as much as they would if they were in Germany or in Spain? Yeah, I think there's more homegrown players. Well, not more, but more homegrown players get a chance yeah. and they stay in the team, in, in particularly Germany, Italy. Yeah. Um, in England, they have a lot of foreign coaches who buy players in, players who they maybe know and, and play them all the time. And I think only because of performances, um, Manchester United, is Jesse Lingard, yep. got the opportunity to go and play every game in the World Cup for England. Yep. Um, so I think a little bit more faith in, in the young English players will um, help the national team. Wayne, do you, in your mind, does the Premier League have an obligation to the FA or the English player? Obligation is the wrong word, but you I know don't what think, I'm Yeah, you know I don't think 
the Premier League okay. probably doesn't believe it does. But, uh, but in your mind, does it? It, it should do, yeah, of course. It's, I agree. Um, I feel, you know, in Italy or Spain, for instance, you see teams playing in Europe and they move the games back to the Friday yep. to give the team a better chance of, of succeeding in Europe. In England, they don't do that. They probably move it to the Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so you have less rest, but it's, um, I think, just a little bit of common sense in, in little things. And I, I know that I think they're starting to do the winter break now, yep. which um, I always thought would happen when I you, stopped you playing it. <laughs> so, um, you used that about 10 years yeah, ago, by the way. But, um, so I think they are trying to move forward, to, which will help the national team. In your mind, when this is all said and done, what will determine success for you? Titles, I think. Um, your success in football is to win titles, and um, it's like England in 1990 got the semi-final. England 2018 got the semi-final, but we we'll remember them for getting the semi-final, not for for winning the title. And you have to win titles if you want to be remembered. You want to create history. You want to um, be known as a successful team, you have to win titles.